Hi, it's been a while, hasn't it? In fact, it's been so long that, well, I'm a redhead now. In fact, I'm a redhead today in honour of the book Following Ophelia by Sophia Bennett, which I have just literally finished reading about five minutes ago. Um, it inspired me so much I had to put on this outfit. No, that's a lie. I, I planned this outfit um, weeks ago. But if I hadn't, it would have inspired me to do it now. The cover of this book is so lovely that I wanted to start my review by showing you it in close-up. I think it really captures the spirit of the pre-Raphaelite setting, whilst also looking really modern. I'll show you the back. It Following Ophelia is about a girl called Mary from a small village in Kent who is uh, forced to leave in disgrace and sent to London to work as a servant. And while she's there, um, she catches the eye of various young artists who want her to be a model for them. This is all far too scandalous for any respectable young lady to consider, so she has to do it in secret. And that's where the trouble and all the fun starts. I enjoyed this so, so much. It really captured the spirit of that age for me. I felt myself being drawn into it and wanting to know more about the period and the art and the people and everything else. I really loved the glamorous new world that Mary gets drawn into and how she has to hide everything from everybody, including her employers and even the maid she shares a room with. She adopts a new name that is pretty much chosen for her by her new friends, Persephone Lavelle, and she kind of starts to embody Persephone as a character, and as time goes on she becomes less and less Mary and more and more Persephone. She sees Persephone as someone bolder and brighter, and in that way she's really creating herself. If you saw my video on why I love YA, then you'll know that one of the things I love to see most in YA literature is characters creating themselves, so I really enjoyed that part. As well as being a lot of fun, this book also tackles some really important issues of the age, such as the contrast between the lives of servants and the wealthy employers, and of the really privileged, and of those who are really desperate and poor. I also really like the way it touched on the gender politics of the age, and the way Mary comes to realise that as a woman she can't be free, either in her respectable place as a servant, or in the company of artists. I thought that was really refreshing and interesting. The Pre-Raphaelites, of course, are really interested in myths and legends and drama and romance, and of course there is some romance in this book, but I really liked the way it developed and played out. I thought it was really refreshing. The best part of all about this book, though, is that there is a sequel, and I cannot wait to read it and find out what happens to Mary next, so I will definitely be picking it up. Now I'm off to go float in a bathtub somewhere while an artist paints me, and then this evening go to a party pretty much in my honour while all will fall over me and my glorious natural red hair. Ah, uh, if only. Unfortunately, I have to go do some work. Before I do, I would like to thank you for watching, thank Stripes for giving me a copy of Following Ophelia to read and review for you, and I would also like to thank them for this this lovely red wig which is of course very natural and you totally thought was my real hair. Ha! Fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and the other bookish Brits you can also check me out on my own channel where I post slightly more regularly and hopefully you'll see me again in a couple of weeks. I am going to try to post videos on Bookish Brits once a month from now on. Yes, I tried to do my makeup so that I would look like the beautiful Mary slash Persephone on the cover of Following Ophelia. And if you would like to see how I did it, I could do a makeup tutorial over on my own channel. Just leave me a comment if you'd like to know. I think I did an okay job. I hope so. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Anyway, 